Welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's Mystery Fountain Pen Review. There is no mystery that this is a new Hongdian M2 fountain pen. The mystery is that I have no idea where it came from. Let me clarify this. Let me clarify this. Thank you for having me. Just before last Christmas, I reviewed the new Hongdian M1 fountain pen. This little bullet or suppository shaped pen right here. Hey, Mort, do these suppositories come in other flavors? Peter, are you eating those? No, I'm shoving them up my butt. Of course I'm eating them. I suppose if it were an Italian suppository-shaped pocket pen, it would have been called the Innuendo. Thank you. I'll be here all week. It's actually a nice little pen with a little smiley face on it and a nicely engineered spring hinge clip. When Hongdian released the M2, which is just a flat top version of the M1, many Ink Acquiring Minds fans asked me to review it. I refused because nice though the M1 is, I wasn't interested in spending another $25 of my hard earned pension money on basically the same pen in a different color with a slightly different shape. Then a few weeks later, this shows up on my doorstep. I have no tracking number. I have no receipts to show that I bought this in my sleep. There was no note attached, and I have no email indicating someone was sending this to me. So it's a mystery pen. Thank you to whoever purchased this and sent it to me for review. You obviously really want me to review this pen. So let's take a look at it right now. And the guesswork continues. Uh, this showed up on my doorstep this morning, unannounced unexpected. Um, I have one pen out there that uh, I have no idea where it has been for the last number of weeks, but let's open it up and see whether that is the pen. I'm not sure. Now, this looks like a pen BBS box. Looks like the aluminum box that some of the pen BBS fancier finishes come in. It is indeed that kind of box. Okay. I do not remember ordering this pen. It is very pretty. It's a Hongdian M2. It's a Hongdian M2. <laughs> well, people have been bugging me to get an M2. I must have bitten the bullet at some point. I have no tracking on this. I have no recollection of ordering this. But it is a, it is indeed a Hongdian M2, I'm guessing. There it is, Hongdian M2. Someone also said that these were plastic. But there you go, another pocket-sized pen. The day after I released my Gold Spot Pen Limited Edition Royal Amethyst, Quebeco. So it'll be interesting to compare these two pens, that's for sure. An unexpected pen. Unexplained bacon. Mmm, floor pie. Ooh, floor pie. Hey, ah! oh. I'll show the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. First, let's look at the differences between the M1 and the M2. The most obvious difference is in the shapes the M1 being a bullet shape and the M2 being essentially a flat top. And let's line them up by the clip because it really shows the shape and dimensional differences. The clips are the same shape and design, but the M2 has a greater degree of travel to it than the M1. So I think there's a, a subtle change in the design of that spring mechanism in there to allow the M2 to travel a lot further. They are both anodized aluminum, but the M2 has the brand model stamped into the side, where the M1 has a smiley face on the front of the cap and a fat chicken M1 and Hongdian stamped into the back. The M2 is cylindrical in shape, where the M1 is a curving bullet shape, and the M2's cap is substantially longer than the M1. And of course, the end finials are different as well. Uncapped and unposted, the two pens are essentially identical, except for the different barrel shapes. 
The sections on the nibs are identical, as are the unscrewable nib units and converters. The difference in the length of the cap really shows up when the pens are posted. Again, if you line up the clips, you can see the difference in length is substantial between the two when they're posted. And of course, this means one alarming fact, and this is difficult for me to say, but I was wrong. I know this is disappointing for 99.99% .99 of you inquiring minds of fans out there, and a total vindication for that one basement dwelling troll that clicks the thumbs down button on each of my videos within nano sections of posting it. Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Give me the cash. Cold in here? Nope, just really small. But it's true, I was wrong. This is the most shoddy, disorganized production I have ever been a part of. The M2 is not just a flat top version of the M1. I would do my utmost to never, ever, ever be wrong again, or I will personally click my own thumbs down button on each of my videos. When I posted the M2, it has a completely different feel and balance in the hand than the M1. The M1 is a small, light pen, but the M2 has some good length to it and feels nicely balanced in the hand. Let's look at the one thing that the M2 has that the M1 doesn't, the top finial design. It's a dome of clear acrylic, which magnifies the black and silver stylized design of the yin yang cat. There's a black cat and a silver cat. I am a bit perplexed as to why Hong Dian has a yin yang cat symbol on this pen. It could be that this is Hong Dian's Chinese year of the cat pen. And other than Al Stewart's fever dream of being seduced by a patchouli wearing cat woman, the year of the cat doesn't actually exist. And you may well ask, and well, you may, but Professor Doug, why is there no Chinese year of the cat when there is a year of the rat? Well, Grasshopper, it all has to do with the fact that once upon a time, the cat and the rat were best friends. Cat liked to sleep late, so on the morning of registration, Rat had agreed to wake him up. But when the day came, Rat forgot all about his promise. And without his friend's alarm call, Cat overslept, missing his chance to sign up, which is why there's no Cat in the lunar calendar. Thank you, Doug. That was great. So, stupid Cat. Smelly Cat, smelly Cat, what are they feeding you? Dirty Rat. Come out and shake it, you dirty yellow-bellied rat, or I'll give it to you through the door. Here endeth the lesson. Here endeth the lesson. The M2 comes in four finish and color combinations, blue, gray, green, and brown, all with black clips and nibs. And the nibs are either extra fine or fine, and they retail for around $20 US. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Hongdian M2 with a Hongdian M1, a Moonman RS1, titanium, a Lambi 2 3062, copper, and a Caveco Sport for scale. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You see the M1 is the shortest of the group, and they all post very, very nicely indeed. Well, it'd be a shame if they didn't post because that's what they're supposed to do. And the Moonman RS1 Titanium is in these multiple colors because I anodized it. You can see that video on the anodization by clicking right up there. Now let's look at them unposted. And there they are unposted. They're not designed to be written with like this, but it does show the varying size among all the different models of the barrel, which does affect their posting length. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Hongdian M2, and it has a number five size steel fine nib. Let's check the wetness. This nib is nicely wet. 
and it's smooth with a good degree of feedback. And that feedback, when I first started writing with it, bordered on scratchiness, so I aligned the tines a little bit, but it still feels like it's a bit more feedback than I like. So I might polish it up with a few passes on some 12,000 grit micro mesh. And the ink today is what I thought was the perfect match for the color of this pen, and that is Roshizuku Shinkai. That's the line variation. This nib actually has a little bit of variation that you can push out of it because the nib is fairly bouncy. Let's get a close-up on that, and you can see how bouncy that is. This seems to be the norm for these Hongdian number no. 5 and number no. 6 size steel nibs now, that they all have a bit of bounce to them, and they're very pleasant. This nib makes a 0 0.5 millimeter line, which makes it a Western fine or a Japanese find a medium on my Richard Bender line width chart, which you can find linked in the description below. And for our quote. And for some reverse writing. It's actually not too bad. A lot scratchier and drier, but writable. And for some quick writing. No issues whatsoever with that feed. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, I like that it's free. What I don't like is that I don't know who to thank for it. Rodney once said, the other day I went to an orgy. Now I have another problem. I don't know who to thank. Oh my God. But seriously, folks, the worst thing I ever heard. It was terrible. It was horrendous. Well, it wasn't that bad. Oh, yeah? Oh, there were parts of it I liked. Yeah, I liked a lot of it. Yeah, it was good. It actually. was great. It's wonderful. Oh, bravo. More. 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 This is a really nice pen for $20 that I didn't spend. It's well built. The nibs are small but nice, kind of like me. And the color combinations are very attractive. And I do like the look and feel of the M2 better than the M1. It's just a slightly bigger pen. This just feels a little bit too small to me. I didn't mention this, but the cap on the M2 comes off with one rotation. But also, if you hold onto the cap and you spin the barrel, it becomes a really nice fidget spinner. Look at that. So, thank you to Anonymous for providing this pen for me to review. Next time, please send them on blanc. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, sneak peek unboxing videos, as well as instant access to my videos once I post them. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. watching and that's all she wrote I made this